Alright, what's up guys, Prometheus here, and today we will be doing a tutorial on Clip Champ. We're going to make in a uh, thumbnail for, I guess, YouTube. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it, guys. We're just going to use a, um, just already a, a project I already did. Oh, not that one. <laughs> not that one. Uh, back to home. Yeah, we'll do this one right here. Alright, cool, cool. Um, and then we'll just import if it's not already imported. No, it's not exactly imported. Uh, add that to our timeline. And just for a tutorial purpose, we'll just find a space into one of the frames. That, uh, of course, it'd be whatever you were to pick. That looks pretty good. Okay, right here. Boom. And then we're just going to add our text. Now, per se, you can't uh, export a frame, unfortunately, from for this. But uh, I'll show you how to kind of work our way around it. Let's go ahead and uh, we're just going to use for right now the... Uh, where is that? Where is that? Nope, nope, nope. I'm looking for it. We'll try the subtitle or the, yeah, let's do the subtitle. We'll add the text and then we'll put uh, the name of it would be here. I guess for this uh, particular one would be World War Z Aftermath. All right, and then we, of course, we can put on whatever font we'd like. Um, Whatever you choose, pretty much um, all up to you. We can go do a creepster, and we just need to maximize that. Now you can maximize the timeline, the zoom in with the control, holding the control key and scrolling your wheel forward. Come back here, and then of course we can change the colors to whatever we want. Um, We'll change it to this for now. Nope. I don't know if I like that. We'll change it over to uh, more of a red color. Give it a nice little bloody look here. And uh, put it about like right here maybe. And then of course you can adjust it if you want. Zoom in, zoom out. You can add certain filters. We'll do the, I want to do this one maybe. Add that there. And then we can add another text. Uh, we'll just do the same for subtitle. And bring it back. Boom. And we just put like, uh, for this example, we'll just put like episode one or something. AP one. And then you could change it to the same text, the uh, creepster. Um, we'll change the color and make it all uniform. And uh, recent, there we go. And filters, we're going to do the same filter. And then we'll highlight it and make it raise up a little bit. You put it right here. And now the only way to do this, unfortunately, is just because we can't rotate the text, we just use our um, screen capture, our print screen, which is for my laptop. It is hold the control, shift and S, and then a uh, window shift and S, I'm sorry. <laughs> window shift and S, and then you just go like that. And that is how you do that. And then of course you can, Right here, you can click save and then it'll save it. And then you should upload it into your YouTube where it tells you to um, upload your thumbnail. And that's basically it. Sadly, I can't figure out how to rotate it. I don't think there's a rotating option here. But um, in case you haven't figured it out, uh, that's how you do it. Um, I would say there's other better ways to do this as far as like paint.net. Um, Paint 3D is actually a useful tool that is already included into your Windows um, software. So, guys, if you like this video, smash that like button. Or if it was helpful, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy editing.